Well, hello there again. Welcome into Drummer Daily. Once again, this is episode number 142. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Daniel Hadaway, and I am once again sitting behind my drum kit. Happy as a pickle? Is that a thing? Is that a phrase? Fit as a fit as a clam? I don't think that's right. Um, <laughs> but I'm here, um, and I'm sitting. I've got. Uh, I'm sitting behind my kit. Uh, uh, Rami from ANF Drumco. He sent me this awesome uh, Lowboy custom beater. Um, that's a collaboration between ANF and Lowboy. So it's got this awesome dark wood finish on it, and um, this cool raw red cowhide kind of uh, kind of surface on it instead of normal felt or wood. So I'm real pumped about. Uh, getting a chance to try this out. Uh, I tried it out a little bit the other day. I was playing drums with my son. Um, we have two drum kits up here in this little studio room that I've got. And uh, I was playing along with him. And so I tried it out a little bit there. So, But I'm really curious to really give it a good shot, you know, recording and things like that. So um, I'll actually be doing that a little bit later today, I think. Um, but today, I'm, I'm not going to answer a listener question today, but I do have a lot of those lined up for the next few episodes, uh, so I, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I do, uh, I do, I do want to talk about something that kind of came up uh, for myself um, in the past few days. So I traveled um, last week as I'm recording this, um, which is why I didn't have a chance to re- uh, record any podcasts last week, and that's actually what I want to talk about. Um, and I've noticed this is a this is a recurring theme for me, both in uh, drumming, but also in just kind of my life. Um, and it's kind of a personality, uh, you know, trait that I have. And I, I'm guessing that you might have it too, or that uh, many of you will have it. And it's this. So I actually brought um, I brought my uh, mic and all the equipment that I need to record my podcast. I brought it with me when I was traveling last week. Um, at the, uh, you know, uh, going into that, I was thinking, you know, I'll, I'll have a chance to record. And to be honest, I think I probably did have time to record my podcast last week each day, um, but I did it. And the reason why I didn't actually record um, my podcast was because when the time came and I thought about it and I was like, I need to do this, I kept thinking, you know, it's just not going to be as good because I'm not sitting behind my drum kit or... Um, you know, I'm in, I'm in not drumming mode. And so I'm not really thinking about, um, I'm not really thinking about drumming in the right way. So my headspace isn't going to be, I had all these reasons why it's just not going to be the same. It's not going to be perfect. And so, um, and so I didn't do it. Uh, and then also, uh, coming back from being out of town, uh, I had to, uh, kind of reconfigure my studio. I had to actually had been planning for a long time to switch out the rug underneath my drum kit. Um, I had a travel rug that I had been using and I wanted to switch to a permanent rug for this space uh, so that when I do travel, I can just uh, leave the leave the rug that I've got here in its spot and, and not have to do this ever again, not switch these rugs out. It's a big pain because I've got all this, uh, this recording equipment that's kind of sitting on top of it. And when I travel, I don't take the recording equipment. Anyway, I had all this stuff I had to do. I had to set it all back up. And it took me a while to get around to actually doing it. Um, and it took me a while to get back into kind of practice mode, which I'm finally doing uh, today. I did a little bit this weekend, but uh, again, the reason why it was so hard for me to get back into practicing was I just kept thinking, oh, it's gonna be so hard to, uh, it's just not gonna be the same. It's not, I'm not, I'm not gonna have everything set up right, or this is wrong, or that's gonna be wrong. And so it's just gonna be, uh, it's just it's just not going to be the same. It's not going to be perfect, and so uh, it's not going to be right. It's, I'm not going to get anything out of it. Um, which is funny because so those are kind of two thoughts. So I didn't record the podcast because it wasn't going to be the same, and I didn't want to practice drums because it just wasn't going to be the same. Um, but then uh, what's funny is uh, I just finished up Monday night. Uh, as I record this, I finished up uh, a six week master class I was doing with a bunch of drummers uh, who want to become professionals. Um, an online masterclass. And one of the things that I taught in that masterclass was that um, we can't get caught up in those things and that, that uh, how do you keep from getting stuck? How do you keep from, uh, in our progress as drummers, how do, we, how do we get out of a rut if we're stuck in a rut? Or if, um, how do we just keep making progress, basically? And one of the things that I taught was showing up 
is progress. So sometimes the best you can do is just show up. Um, I've started kind of a new health routine the past uh, couple of weeks, and part of that is exercise. And um, part of my exercising that I'm doing right now is rowing. My my wife is a, a serious rower. Um, she rowed in college, and she helped coach a team here in Nashville as well for a while. And uh, so we're she's pretty serious about rowing. So she's taught me the right way to do it, and the right form, and everything. And so um, we have a, a pretty pretty cool little rowing machine in our uh, in our house. And so part of my exercise routine is rowing. And uh, I have been rowing like a, a 2K, so you know, two kilometers. I've been just doing that as my daily exercise for now. And uh, I've been already, I haven't done it very much, but I've already started to get preoccupied with uh, my time, how long it takes me to row that 2K. Um, and wanting it to decrease every single day that I'm rowing. And uh, I have to remind myself and and my wife reminded me too, like, hey, you're not necessarily going to make, you know, great progress every single day. Sometimes your progress is you just showing up and doing the work. The progress will come, uh, but the success for you in the progress sometimes is just showing up and doing the work. Um, So I may not uh, shave time off of my 2K every single day that I'm rowing. Um, you know, over time I will get the shave time off of that of that total time, but it's not going to happen every day necessarily. So I was really bummed one day when I only I only cut down by like two or three seconds, um, and so I just have to uh, remind myself that showing up is progress. Well, it's funny is that I, I I taught showing up is progress. I I integrate that into my exercise routine, um, but I, it seems like I wasn't integrating that into my podcasting or into my drumming. So. All of, all of my podcast today is just about the idea that sometimes it's not going to be perfect, sometimes it's not going to feel great. Um, but as drummers, if we're trying to approach this and become professionals, or even if we're not we become professionals, but we want to respect um, the art and the craft of our drumming, sometimes the best we can do on a, any given day is just show up and play the drums. It may not be perfect. You may not have every microphone that you want. You may not uh, feel really warmed up. You may not have this or that. Something might not be right or whatever. Um, But at the end of the day, showing up and playing drums is better than not showing up and not playing the drums. So today, I just want to encourage you that if you're in that spot where you're like, you know what, Um, uh, there's something holding me back from practice or something holding me back from my progress, um, take the time today to just show up and do something. Um, any, anything you do approaching your drumming, whether it means you're not sitting at a drum kit, but you're just tapping your hands on your legs or on your t- table or whatever else, if that's all you can do um, and, and, and you're gonna, it's either do that or do nothing, well, do that. That's still progress. Um, I don't want us to, to default to that, but if you're making the choice between doing nothing at all and doing something, always choose to do something. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, That's my commitment. I'm gonna start just showing up to play um, every day. Again, I'm getting back into it, um, and so I want you to do the same thing. All right, thanks for joining me today. Um, And like I said, we'll get started back tomorrow with more listener questions. I've got a lot, and uh, I can't wait to answer them, and I hope that you can't wait to hear them. All right, thanks for joining me on Drummer Daily. Bye for now.